Hello everyone, welcome to the Engineering Projects YouTube channel. In the previous video tutorial, we have created a professional post using the summer note as you can see. Uh, this is that post. Now, we need to create dynamic header menu. As you know, we have already done uh, dynamic menus in the sidebar. Now we need to create a dynamic menu for this header. So for that, first we have to declare the location for the top bar for the navigation and then create links to add them in this navigation. So here is the list of locations. Okay, so this is the home top bar and here is the admin sidebar. So go to the menu links and now add some links here for the top menu. Uh, here is the top menu bar. Uh, I will say it home and home have the link as uh, something <coughs> or we can use uh, this tutorial simple this tutorial link as post and create the link now here in the list you can see the link we have to update this and remove the whole path and it will be like this and save it so it's saved successfully now we need to declare a variable for the top bar here is the layout page we need to find the top bar so <coughs> all the links are available here now we need to add the menu variable or we need to search that where to place the id so i can use simply this is what i want to delete okay and i will delete all and uh, comment this one now we need to create an action to load all that items which are available in this menu as you can see in the Matronics we have uh, this list okay which is loading the data okay it will load all the data in the console and here we can see inspect in the console so these are the data which is populating as one two three four one two three four so this is array which is rendering dynamically okay so what we will do next we search default controller and search for this link so words so this is the filter which we are using this is the database and in the stored procedure now modify this procedure and search for the filter which we have copy So here is that filter okay it will return us all the records okay it will return us all the records and we can apply filtration by our own self okay so <coughs> we need to copy this ajax call 
and paste that upon the top by adding script tag or we, we can use document dot ready having a function and in this function we will call ajax we also have to find the format of link which we need to apply when we can apply ideas uh, <clears throat> top menu or whatever you want to declare there top menu and here it is a format now what we need to do we need to place single quote here declare that as a where links value place a ref here and link name here and that's it and we need to append that in top menu but we have to apply a check First of all, load this and see what happened. Refresh it. And all these menu gets changed. Okay. So it's get changed. Uh, we need to console it to see what the results appear. Uh, menu json dot stringly file the result now refresh this and once inspect the code and in the console okay so it is saying this is not defined here okay so it's mean jquery is not added here so we need to add that and for this purpose we will copy jquery path from the previous layout so here is the jquery path and add that on the top now refresh this and in the console <coughs> there is no error and all the records are available here now we need to apply one thing more we need to apply if condition and uh, in that if condition we have to mention only populate the record which have the specific link or location so here is that location uh, top bar okay menu top bar and here we can apply that condition that uh, in each loop if equal equal something like this if the name or we can say uh, value dot location if that is equal to this only then populate now refresh it once and let's see the result <clears throat> okay uh, we have some spaces here so we need to remove white spaces for this purpose we will use a uh, string like this um, in this location we will take a variable here variable um, <coughs> text is equal to this location 
and apply some methods on this text like replace and oops and uh, dot replace this uh, this specific regex will remove all the unwanted spaces and this g and all it's done let's check it like here and also print that here now refresh it and let's see the result so here you can see here we have the text so we can apply filtration on this text like this now refresh one again once again and you can see uh, only that record is rendered uh, which is uh, associated with the top menu home page location i hope uh, this po uh, video is informative if you have any kind of question you can ask us and don't forget to subscribe the engineering projects youtube channel take care bye bye have fun